So I've added the code you asked me last and I've tried to run it and it's not showing anything. Why is it not working? Well, actually we've hit a problem here and that's something about uh, cross origin uh, that we need to kind of talk between two servers. Right now we have a local host and then we made a server in, in the cloud, right? So we're trying to communicate between two different servers. This is one server and then you have your own local host right now and that's just not allowed. So we have to uh, figure something out called course or cross origin resource sharing. So we need to kind of explain to either our backend, we're going to do that in the next video, or we need to explain to our browser that it's okay to do this. So we're going to try and figure that out right now. We're going to take the simple solution and just explain to our browser. But what's the error you're getting when these things happen? If you open your developer tools, you can open them from here or you can use the, the shortcut keys. There's the developer tools right there. You can see there's a request here, XML, HTTP request cannot load, Kabumi no access control allowed, origin header is present on the, res on the um, request resource. So that pretty much means that our server has rejected our question for getting all the customers. But it worked in Postman. Why is it not working here? Because Postman is in a browser. That's kind of the main reason why it's not working there. Postman is kind of dodging this bullet and we can make this browser dodge the bullet as well. Now this is of course not something you want to do for a real application so we'll fix it in the next lesson but let's just dodge the bullet right and then next time you can see some data now and then next time we'll fix it on the server side. So going up here I've added a new extension so if you go into Chrome again and you go down to uh, more tools and you go into extensions right here. So Chrome, uh, more tools, extensions, this guy will pop up. And in there I've kind of added this guy. So you can just add an extension if you scroll down here to the bottom, all the way down I have so many much stuff in here, you can get more extensions. And now let me just zoom out. So I'm inside the more extension now and I'll just search the store for this allow control, uh, allow origin. And I'll search that extension right here and hopefully it'll find it for me. There we go. And this is the one I've installed. And uh, you should go and install that if you want to do the easy solution. Next lesson, I'll show you the harder solution where we have to kind of work with our own REST API because we have actually access to that so we can figure it out that way. And there's also, you can just Google course and try to understand this, but it's pretty much just, it means that we are trying to communicate across two different domains and that's just not allowed inside a web browser. So that's the main problem. But when we actually have this added and installed, and I did that right here, you get this small icon here in the corner saying course. And yes, there's also course add-ons for Firefox or Edge or whatever you're using. So there we go, now this guy is available. Let's just shut this guy down again. Boing, 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 and go back to our customer app. Now all I'll have to do is I'll say, now enable cross origin resource sharing. Zoop. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do a refresh and get zoomy. We're getting real data from the real database in the real REST API on Azure. This is awesome. Now we'll fix the problem so we don't have to use this add-on because it's not cool to call your customers and say, you know what, you need to install this course add-on because I'm kind of lazy. I didn't make my bag in properly. So good luck with that. Have fun. Bye-bye. You don't want to do that. You want to actually fix the bag in so it allows localhost and a specific Angular server when we set that up later it says, if you're from this Angular server, you can go and grab the resources I have available. But anybody else, you're not allowed. This is my server. We could also do something else. We could say, everybody have access for this service, right? But we also have to set that up if that's the choice we make. So we'll do that in the next lesson. See you next time, we'll have more fun with this. But notice, right now you actually have real live data from a real live server presented in your real localhost Angular application. Have fun.